Here we are. It is the packing video. It is what we've been building up to. We first went through shoes and then accessories, and now it's putting it all together, making sure our clothes, our everything, our lives fit into a suitcase, underweight, and not busting out and not overpacking and realizing you've got way too much stuff with you and you're so frustrated and there's no room to do any shopping and bring home anything else. So we are about ready to make our way outside of this set, get into my closet where it's getting really busy. Come on. Okay, before I show you, first and foremost, I'm a big believer in lists. Get everything down where you can see it. Everything that you're gonna need for your trip. That way it is no fail packing. The next thing I do is lay it all out. I grab everything that I'm thinking about, mostly separates, and I start hanging it up. And that way I can see what's gonna go with what, how things will be mixed and matched, and how I'm gonna get the most use out of my clothing. These shoes should look pretty familiar from the packing video of the types of shoes that I'm gonna bring with me to travel. I'm laying out accessories, products, swim, night, jewelry, everything is right in front of me and somehow it's all going in here. Okay, so this is something I highly recommend. If you haven't purchased a new suitcase in a while, please consider doing so. They are making them so much more lightweight, which is critical when it comes to how much you can put in your suitcase and not going over the weight limit. Also, they're getting very inventive in uh, maximizing space. So for instance, this guy looks pretty small, but check this out. It has an accordion feature, so it expands big time and gets really tall. May not necessarily be so wide, but it's the depth that I'm hoping to utilize really well this time around. Oh, and by the way, the suitcase is by Victorinox. V-I-C-T-O-R-I-N-O-X. I'll put it in the description box. The first thing that I will pick is what I'm gonna wear on the plane. A Couple of things are really important for me. Number one, I need some type of a jacket or a sleeve because I get really cold on a plane. Secondly, it's gotta be loose and comfortable. No tight waistbands, no pinching fabric. So this is a jean dress by Gap. It's got a very loose belt that I can tie around the waist. So it's fitted, but it's really cute. It's, it's, I can sleep in it. It's like a pajama. And something like this will take care of my needs on the plane. Um, I'll be comfortable without looking like a schlub. I'll pair these Rebecca Minkoff shoes with the uh, dress because I prefer a lace-up sandal when I fly. I don't know about you, but my feet swell. So this way I've got room to loosen up the sandal and let my ankles breathe, so to speak. So from here on out, it's really about outfit pairing. And this is where you need to take everything and lay it out on the floor and see how many outfits you can create out of a few pieces. Here we go. Let's start with jeans. I'm only bringing one pair, my favorite rag and bone with the distressed knees, and see how many looks we can get out of this. So next up is getting it all in the suitcase, and these things are going to change your life. This is the packet garment folder. We got the cube, and we got the mini cube, and we are gonna get all those clothes into these containers. So all of my clothes are now folded and in. I've got all my tops in one and all my bottoms in the other. And I've packed them according to what I'm going to wear first on the trip down toward the last part of the trip. Next on my list is what's going in the cube. And these are the things that are gonna get rolled up into tight little sausages. Things like pajamas, workout clothes, uh, bathing suits and bathing suit cover-ups. Mm -hmm. 
So in this one particular case, I'm putting all of my bathing suits and bathing suit cover-ups. And in the other one, I will have pajamas and workout wear. So I won't even have to open this case until I get to that part of my destination where I will be swimming. And last but not least, we have the half cube for smaller things like socks, underwear, bras, sticky bras, they're all going in. Okay, back in the closet and I've got the two big clothing um, packables packets in here and now I'm going to add the smaller ones that we just did. Now I know it looks like I'm reaching the top but remember I still have all this extra space in here to go and a lot of space on the sides because this thing expands. I know you're stressing for me, I feel it. Handbags will be small and thin so something like this that straps around the body like a crossbody will work also, my wrist wrap handbag in both a tan and a black work well on the trip. And they'll go back in here because they're nice and flat. For my costume jewelry, I'm going to use little jewelry bags that I have around the house. And for one, I'll put in bigger items like necklaces, this choker for instance. Um, another, I will fill with bracelets. One got caught on the other. Oh, that's where that went. I have been looking for this everywhere. It's amazing what you find when you pack. <laughs> Ah, so we're back in familiar territory over here, and now is the time to start thinking small. Instead of your ginormous hairspray, we're going to downsize. Also, same thing applies to the hair dryer. This is gonna take up too much space, but this little baby bliss, little baby dryer, is gonna do the trick. And this thing kicks out a lot of heat as well. So time to minimize and see how much stuff we can get into our luggage. First of all, things like this are critical. These are um, waterproof bottles, shampoo, conditioner, body lotion, face cream, all of that is going to get put into here. And then I cannot say enough about containers like this. This one is by Seven Senses and it has all different kinds of compartments. You can hang it up and this is where all of the bathroom toiletries are going to go. So all my bathroom products, face creams, face sunscreen, everything to do with the hair, and the miniature cans of hairspray are all in here. So next up is makeup, and again, a case like this would be ideal. It has a hanger to be able to pop up on anything, and all different kinds of compartments for foundations and blush. Uh, this is when, again, you've gotta think about what you're really going to need. So for instance, I might switch from a regular foundation to a BB or a CC cream that's got a tint and an SPF. And for eyeshadow, instead of packing a bunch of different colors, I'll find one kit that has a lot of colors that I'll utilize and just put that in along with my blushes, lipsticks, etc. Okay, so everything is packed and I also included a first aid kit that has, for instance, Imodium, uh, Benadryl for allergies and antibiotic ointment, tweezers, band-aids, Advil, you name it. Always important to have a first aid kit no matter where you go. So it's time to get all of these smaller little uh, packing boxes into the suitcase. <laughs> Know what you're thinking hold up you don't have any shoes in there well i still have room let's see if i can do it and why not a hat for good measure success last but not least what's in my bag 
my husband gave me this purse i adore it fringe gotta love fringe and look a giant gaping hole does it get any better for traveling no it does not so let me encourage you to take with you the most important things. For instance, any prescription medication or hormones that you need that you can't do without, carry those on. Prescription sunglasses. If you're going to another country, a uh, power converter. Got to be able to charge your phone, right? And uh, hey, everybody needs a pair of Beats to jam on the plane. Not to mention the passport, the wallet, the credit cards, and yada, yada, yada. But I hope this has been incredibly helpful for you. I am exhausted. <laughs> But you know what? I'm packed and I got it all in. So that makes me very happy. Mission accomplished. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this packing series. My husband's phone is ringing. As you can clearly see, he hasn't even started. But I've got tips for him should he need it. Be bold, be blessed, and I'll see you after the trip. Bye.